Can you guys see me? I mean, no, you can't see me, but can you hear me? Put my phone down. Craig played around. He did some waving of his hand like this. And it still seemed to be dropping a little bit. So we'll give that a go anyway. So let's cut this guy out. So frustrating for you guys. Yeah, it looks like um, it looks like we're probably not going to be able to put this up tomorrow because it's um. Can you mm. lock it in on focus? Um, because we just end up frustrating people. to hold still while it focuses <laughs> otherwise we keep moving it goes all funky again hey Catherine sounds great okay that's that's good to know thank you Tiffany is it Tiffany no you'd remind me um so this foam like I said is from a fix it crafts this is the thick one so I went run through forwards and backwards. I'm just encouraging it to cut through here. All good. <laughs> Donna was munching on the last of her rich tea biscuits. I want rich tea biscuits. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Love a biscuit. Um, with these nice, this nice weather that we've been having, Craig's been like, oh, I do want an ice cream. He's more of an ice cream person, but I would much rather have a biscuit. I think because of my Irish roots, um, gotta love a cup of tea. Yeah, if you're in Ireland, have to have a cup of tea. That's just the rules. As soon as you walk into somebody's house, they they uh, make you a cup of tea. And even if you, even if you go from like one house to another, tea. T, T, T. Come on, wiggle, wiggle. Elizabeth says she can see the stickers a lot better. Yay! And the video is not stuttering anymore. Well, we'll see. Because it wasn't stuttering whenever he first left. Um, so we'll see. Love ice cream and sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, me too. So we, um, we have this thing where, well, I really enjoy making pancakes. I mean, come on. There's worse things to make, right? And uh, I, at the weekend, will very frequently make pancakes. And I have been spreading it with Nutella and adding sprinkles. And it's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. Everyone needs some. Okay, so I managed to push that out. And I can keep this for another project. Whoop, whoop. Just put up a warning stream before the actual video. Yeah, that might be a good idea. But I've had some nasty comments on there. So I don't want to rock the boat. Okay, so let's get this sorted. So now I can kind of line this up and I'm just going to use my sticky tape to mark where I want to cut each of these. A little wishy-washy tape. Hey, so guys, um, everyone, um, everyone, we were talking about um, someone's having a, um, going to their parents' anniversary, and we realised that it's Craig and mine's um, anniversary next week. I told them that he um, would have to amuse himself because I will be busy doing my live crafting stream for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he understands did, did I ever tell you guys <laughs> if Craig's listening he'll be rolling his eyes did I um, ever tell you guys about Craig's graduation oh. what was that even anyone there it's a ghost you've never had Nutella Heidi what say that but I'm sure there's plenty of things I've never had it's it's delicious Craig was saying that there was um some sort of hoo-ha about it because it has a lot of palm oil or something and palm oil is not good I don't know it's delicious go out to dinner early says Elizabeth 
Yeah, well, I work till six and then we have to just collect paper from school and get everything ready and then we have to sort out the, the stream and everything. So, we'll just do it another day. Um, before I tell you the story about Craig's graduation, let me get stampy. I'll use this. Um, so, Craig's graduation. When Craig was graduating, um, I was working in a craft shop and I um, got the opportunity to go to a, a oh, hold on. I got the opportunity to go to an event which was an event for retailers and it was an education event and at this event there were people and one of these peoples was Tim Holtz <laughs> and um, this was gosh maybe 12 years ago something like that so even then I was like oh yeah I really want to go I want to go to the event meet all these people um, and so there was like whole jam-packed workshops and things within Birmingham and I had the opportunity to go which was really exciting and then we found out that Craig's graduation was on the same day and he's such such a blessing he was he was like you you have to go like this you have to go and well you know he might have held it over my head <laughs> no, I'm just joking yeah, it does come up every now and again that uh, <laughs> I uh, I missed his graduation to uh, go to this craft event, which was amazing and definitely one of the um, the highlights. I'll always remember it. It was amazing, and really quite fun. So naughty wife. <laughs> so everybody, I've got two stamps here from one of our Heffy Doodle stamp sets. It is from this one not sure if you can see any other little sneaky images there that you might like <laughs> and I have stamped this up I'm using the DCP paper from Claire Fontaine and I'm using my mini misty and some memento tuxedo black ink because I it's copic friendly Maria, you go to bed, sweetheart. Sweet dreams. Craig is the best. He is the best. It is true. I think so. Where is my baby wipes gone to? Craig wiped me up earlier. He was like, do you really need these baby wipes here? I said, I'm sure I will need them. And now they have gone walkies. Where have they gone to? I'm looking, but I'm not seeing. Where are they hiding out here? <laughs> Is that a Copic marker stamp or a magic wand? Well, let's have a little look here and here. You might not be able to see very well because of the glare. I mean, the real answer is it can be whatever you want it to be. But, yeah, maybe you can uh, decide yourself there what it might be. <laughs> Graduations are a bit boring for other people, I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Dana says she loves the bear. Thank you. He's a cutie. So I think that some crafty people will like this stamp set. My dog pressed enter three times. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Did you get the name right, Maria? Yes, it's Maria is Yoshi line. <laughs> She's funny. Okay, so we've also got a little pot here. So tonight this pot is playing the role of a high pot. 
However, if you follow Denise Watts, D-E-N-N-I-C-E -E Watts, then you may see that it can also be a cookie jar. And she's been doing some sneak peeks for us as well. Did I see a wave die when you were showing them earlier? Hmm. Well, the full reveals are next week, so we'll get to see all of them and then. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that that's dry before I grab my Copix. And every, every week I say that I'm gonna do a, a water, like an actual watercolor one, and then I, I think during the week, whenever I'm trying to make the card, end up going for something that's um quick to do <laughs> or quicker to do and with watercolors i feel like i need to sit and be in the zone but i am using watercolors tonight for the drippy drips which is fun so somebody said somebody said a question earlier and i don't know who it was um so please please comment again they said, they asked a question about what he was holding, but I didn't get to read what the whole question was. So please, please write the question again. I like the Instagram sneak. Heffy Doodle Stamps, yes. Please people comment over to Heffy Doodle Stamps on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest is Heffy Doodle. And that's the other thing, actually, if you guys, when you guys, because you guys are my heffy doodlers, <laughs> when you guys get your little crafty paws on some heffy doodle stamps, I hope that you add your projects um, onto Pinterest as well. That'll be really fun. Okay, so I'm going to do some basic coloring with this guy. Add a little bit of darker tones. I'm using E33, E35. Build up some color. And I might go a teeny bit darker. Oops, just went out the line. Getting carried away, you see. So the other thing about this stamp set is that there is another image in this particular set where you can swap out the faces off the little animal or that well really technically it's the mouth okay so you can have a um, almost like a sad or a sorrowful mouth and then you can also have a big like smiley mouth and things and um, that was another way I wanted to introduce some versatility no night, Janita. Sweet dreams, my dear. What am I going to go for? Let's go for R20 for his nose. I'm going to go for a lighter color for his snout. The colour is with tongue and the same colour as well. <laughs> so what have you guys been doing this week with crafting? Have you been doing any crafting? I can't wait to to play some more with some of this the the stuff in my stash when things calm down but I think I will be just playing with happy doodle for a little while to be honest 
but that's all good in the hood. Okay, so I need my tiny acrylic block. I'm having one of those moments where I've put everything on my desk and now I cannot find anything. Use this instead. Okay. And I want this stamp. So talk about teeny weeny. super fun so in this stamp set there are a few teeny weeny accessory words that will allow you to where's my focus tool I have no idea where the focus tool has gone to. You can't really see then if it doesn't focus. But it says honey on it. But it's really sweet. It looks like it's kind of part of the actual stamp because the, the stamp is really, really tiny. Lots of fun. Right, let's grab my coordinating dies for this stamp set. The way. Here's a sneaky peeky. Stacy says that. Oh, where's my thing? Here it is. Stacy says she was inspired my interactive cards and you made an interactive card for your hubby oh yay i love interactive cards i think the boys said they like them too pretty awesome sampira made some interactive uh, sorry some magic slider cards they're fun i've been scrolling through at mama elephant stamps to buy yeah how many stamps will be how many stamp sets will be available when the Kickstarter begins? Yes, please. Any questions, just shout because every time I'm on I say I'm I share some bits and pieces, but then I also know that some of you are on every time and I don't want to bore bore you all senseless. So there are five stamp sets and there are um four sets of dies. Um, you'll be able to buy them when the Kickstarter is live or pre-order them I guess is the right term and um, they they're we are doing a reduced price so if you support us on Kickstarter you'll you'll get them at a you know cheaper than RRP kind of price and then if you buy multiple so for example if you wanted to go all out and buy the full collection whoop then you do get lots of savings so that's good whoops wrong one it's so hard to work with teeny weeny stamps um yeah do you know what it takes a little bit of practice but i do have some tips for you guys if you're using teeny weeny stamps make sure your, your block is clean and bear in mind that you only need like almost like one tap of ink pad. The other thing is, I recommend this ink pad. Um, loads of people said Lawn Fawn, whatever it's called, Jet Black ink, which I bought and I do like, and it's really, really juicy. But the problem with being really, really juicy is that with a teeny weeny stamp, it almost gets it too inky. So with this, where it has like a hard, a more solid felt, some of the foam, some of the actual felt pads are like really smooshy, and it then goes up into the grooves of the stamps. Now, because my stamps are high quality, they do have a deep etch on them, 
but some of the stamps are really really small so there you're going to there's going to be less of these little grooves so grab an ink pad that has got a um you know a harder let me try not to make a mess but still I'll show you you know there's I'm pushing on that hard and there's there's not really any give on it let me see if I can get something white underneath so there's no give on that whereas I, if I then did the same thing with um, a pigment ink pad let me show you so this one here is a pigment ink pad <laughs> try not to get it all over my finger so if I show you can you see that it's going right down to the um, plastic here right down because it's got more um, it's more spongy is that the right term so don't do it and then give up try it try them out the other thing is it mostly if I'm inking up stamps and this is good if you're going to if you're new is mostly what I do is I take the ink pad and I take it to the paper not the paper I take it to the stamp and I try to go down flat and I'm literally doing this okay ink pad stamp I'm not going smoosh because once again you only want it on that flat surface you don't want it to go down into the grooves so if you're just tapping it tap it a couple of times move your ink pad twist it around you'll get the ink on the flat surface but if you smoosh it it actually all it does is go down the side of the ink or the etched uh, um the etched i was gonna say rubber i used to talk about rubber stamps and um, the etched bit of the photopolymer or the stamp itself and that's how you get that shadow that's how you get blurred images so practice makes perfect or at the very least practice makes progress um so let me just show you guys which i think you um if you've watched before you'll know that some of my dies also have internal cut lines so this means that um, it cuts on the internal cut lines cut along the actual stamp line so if i use it like this no one's going to know any different but what makes it really fun is that you can actually tuck things into his little paws <laughs> so sweet <laughs> uh, do -do 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 -do. let me read some more of your comments here I had my letter and coloured card published in the latest issue of Creative Stamping that came out this week. Amazing! And you get a prize. Ooh, that's good. You'll have to come back next week and tell us what your prize was. That's amazing. Congratulations, you. I'm excited for you. Oh, I love a, love a crafty prize. Well done. I bought some Canson watercolour paper and some post-it notes full sticky yes gotta have those full sticky backs i bought some more of this like i said this is an ebay one and it's on a roll i think it came from china but it does a trick right i'm going to do some i'm going to make some honey splotches on my little honey pot so that it looks like it's sort of dripping down a little bit here do a little splooch up there as well so for the honey pot I'm using Copics, but for the rest of the card I'm actually going to use some watercolours. So let's put them there. Ellen says, I love the tips. Yay! Share the love. Spread the education because then you go and tell someone else and then more people fall in love with card making and it's just a big happy family. <laughs> I'm trying to find a good paper to use like Nina that's not um, and it's not really it's not really available and affordable here. We talked about that um, earlier in the show for want of a better word and um, we were talking about Claire Fontaine DCP paper and I think you can get it on Amazon. I'm not sure if you can get it in um, Brisbane, where you are. And 
I think I think it's probably a little price. Well, it's pricey. I mean, I think for like a ream of it, it was like eleven pounds, which is actually not that bad in the grand scheme of things. But hey ho, I'm definitely gonna get some. Uh, Donna says, "Will you have a trade price?" Oh gee, um, the thing is, it is so hard to um, so hard to say because, guys, that what you know, I I want heffy doodle to be a uh, super well established you know <laughs> one of the names in the in the uh, stamping world absolutely and you know that that's the dream but everything depends on kickstarter everything depends on kickstarter and that's why i say several times i need your help i need your assistance please 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 come and um come and support me and and spread the word tell everybody in your in your craft groups and everything like that yeah that's what that's what I'm asking please please do it okay so here you might not be able to see very well but I also have a little image here can you see what it says without my even though I can't focus because I don't know where the button is anymore it's hidden on me but it says shake me and there's a little arrow so I'm going to stick not stick I'm going to stamp that on here before I put on the frame for this one I added the frame first and then decided to add the stamp but it was just a little bit more tricky not impossible though I missed the name we'll google it oh here we go Claire Fontaine DCP paper 210 GSM. You can try that. I think it's um I think it's really good. It's really smooth. And you know, I could quite easily just sit and stroke it. It works really, really nicely. Okay, so we're going to have a little shake me. Um, that there, and I'm going to try and get it inside one of the hexagons because otherwise, if it goes on my embossed bit, because it's such a tiny stamp, um, it might not be quite as clear. And a little twirly whirly arrow. Pop these back in their little places. Oh, I think I started talking about this before I um before I stop the feed for a second. I was talking about the blog hop for um, Heffy Doodle. And I said that on my blog at the moment, there is a blog hop which is live. It's from Love From Lizzie. And Love From Lizzie does a, like a, a card kit. There's a shop and everything. Um, and it, um she she sent me her kit a little while ago and i did 10 cards in one sitting if you remember it it was pretty epic <laughs> and um and uh yeah i shared all the 10 cards that i made and it was part of their blog hop so to darken their eyes i'm using the sakura glaze pen it's one of my favorite things to darken up the little eyes on the bear uh, yeah, so I'm part of a blog hop that uh, that went live last um, on Wednesday, I think it was. And if you actually, um, if you go on and leave a comment on each of the stops, and I think there's there's a, there's not that many. Some blog hops are, are super long, but there's not that many. If you leave a comment, you can win a twenty pound gift voucher to the Love from Lizzie, Lizzie store. So please go on over and leave some comments on there. It'll be good fun. 
Right, let's move this over here and start working on our shaker. Is there anybody who's crafting along? That would be fun. Um, if there's anyone crafting along, I want to figure out whether you guys are happy for me to use the fuse tool or whether you would rather that I show you what to do if you don't have the fuse tool. Looks like office work might have some of their lines. Yeah, perfect, yes. Clairefontaine is a really popular brand, especially in, in Europe. So um, yeah, it's, it's a, like a higher quality. It's definitely good, so that's good. So what do you guys think? Use the fuse tool or um or use uh, some other products you might want to see the fuse tool in action and i'm also going to be using some honeybee stamps embellishments they had a, a a celebration for their birthday recently and there was a whole load of honey themed products and they're just beautiful this one's called honey jar and um, I don't think I've ever used like a whole pack. <laughs> Ellen says without the fuse tool. Okay, okay, no worries. Perfect, well, we'll just do that then. Without, 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 perfect. We can do that another time if you're interested. Um, so we can, I'm, I'll use this, seeing as I have it, but you guys know that you can just use a, like a stamp pocket. So if you've got a stamp pocket or a CD sleeve, um, you'll have the edge here, which is, well, it's heat sealed along here. But the one on the bottom is usually flush. So what I would do is I would use the flush edge to be exposed um, for that. Or if you have, let's see, like a stamp, stamp pocket, Same sort of thing you know use the sealed edge to be the exposed edge I'm not crafting alone still don't have enough supplies says Elizabeth Mason. and it's cold lying under my son's duvet <laughs> we call it a doona but I knew you guys might not know what I'm talking about <laughs> a doona that's funny I've never heard that before so when Kickstarter begins, is that when we can place orders? I'm really hoping to try and support and buy. I was just confused how the Kickstarter worked. Please excuse the name Bobana. <laughs> Jenna Bobana. I love it. Jenna Bobana. Mm -mm -mm. Um, yes, so let me let me show you how I'm gonna do this and then I will um talk about Kickstarter. What have I done on my circle die? People, what have I done on my circle die? This is what happens when you get carried away crafting. Oh. So if you keep hold of your circle die, that will be actually much handier. If you don't, then you're going to need something like a, I just realized I'm walking away from the mic you're going to need something like a sharpie so I'm going to I've got my cut edge of my frame here and I'm going to hold it up to there and I might even set this down just so it doesn't move around too much and I'll go around the outside and I'm using a fine line sharpie okay it can be any sharpie so I'm going along the outside so I know that um, this circle when I'm cutting this out when I'm sticking it down it needs to be within that line 
So Jenna Bobana, Kickstarter is a, it's like a, they call it a crowdfunding platform or forum or website. And what they do, I'm gonna just cut along that blue line. What it is, is um, it's a way to kind of like source pre-orders, I guess. So I'm starting up this new company and I'm not rich, fact. <laughs> um, I uh, have a you know, great idea. I, I'm making a product that I believe that my crafty friends and um, anyone who likes it to stamp and, and bits and pieces, I believe that they will love this, these products as well. However, to make products, whether it's stamps, especially if it's dyes or anything else like, all together, then it is expensive. There is a lot of cost involved and there is also um, setup fees, etc. And let's just go back to the bit where it says that I'm not rich. So I can't really go out and spend all my money, all the money I don't have on um, setup fees, manufacturing, etc. Putting it in a shop and then not really knowing how many I'm going to sell. What I'm able to do then is I'm able to go to Kickstarter and say hey this is what I want to make anyone out there interested in it so you they would come along you guys my little heavy dudes will come along and go yep 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 I want that so essentially it's like pre-ordering and you you pledge your um you pledge Pledge, it's a bit like pledging your money, but at the same time, you're like basically just saying, I want to buy, I don't know, two stamp sets and two die sets or whatever. And it'll say, okay, this will cost you this much money. You, you can do that, like put it through Kickstarter. It doesn't take your money until the, the campaign ends. So in the campaign, there's... Uh, it's running from the 3rd of July to the 31st of July. So whether you go on on the 3rd or on the 31st, and whether you go on and say, yep, I want to buy this, 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 and this, 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 your money won't be taken until probably the 1st of August. And then the Kickstarter people say, Hey Leslie, this is how much, or this is how many orders you have. This is what people want, and um, I then know exactly what I need to like order to manufacture. Pause a second because I want to make sure that you guys are following along with me. Um, I have cut along the line that I cut out using a sharpie, and I had a really really skinny sticky tape here, but um, I wanted to kind of overhang the edge to make sure that it actually has a nice tight seal. So I used the slightly thicker one, it's probably about four or five mil, and I've got, I've gone about three quarters of the way around, and then I've just done that little bit in the corner there, and I've left one area, um, which the release paper I haven't removed. And I'll stick the rest of these down now. And we need that one area because that's how we're going to feed our shaker card. Our shaker pouch, should I say. Um, does that answer your question? Does that answer your question? So, it's like I say, it's a bit like pre-ordering. And you will get your supplies in August. If that's the next question, you're going to come off your lips. <laughs> Because I know, I know what it's like. You see something, you want it. You want it now. So this is probably where a 
funnel or something would come in really handy. We'll make it work. Bobana says Bobana 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 not sure my sister says if I ever have a crafting channel it would be not safe for work <laughs> because I spend so much time cursing as I lose everything <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't normally curse anyway <laughs> Thank you for explaining. I'm really excited. Even from seeing the previews, it's something I would love. Yay! Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how much that makes me excited. Because I have been wanting to do this. And it's just... Yay! I cannot wait. So, um, I'm going to trim this down a little bit. Because where I cut it out, it was slightly bigger than my outside frame and I don't want it peeking out the side of my frame I did not lose that so I'll just pop this down a little bit and because this foam tape already has adhesive on the back I can do this magic oh I'm gonna need to get my head over here hold on I need to trim it down a little bit here. Now we're cooking on gas. What do you think, guys? Isn't that, wouldn't that just be like really fun, like hanging from a Christmas tree or something? You probably need a frame on the other side. I just think that is so fun. Card making is fun. I love it. And I just cannot wait to see what you guys what you guys make with a little bit of heavy doodle. It's gonna be so fun. So here's another tip if you're trying to put tape around a corner. Poke down the poke down, stick down the first bit. And then try to pull up the edge, but if you've got gel and nails on, it's not that easy. Pull off the release paper. It's going to make it a little bit tricky, but stick with it. Most of the time, you'll be able to ease it round, especially if you have a sticky tape that is like thin enough that you don't have to have it flat. Like if you have it folded over, it's not going to make a big deal. <laughs> Also, the fact that the teddy bear die cuts the arms made me so happy. It's not something I've seen often. Yay! Whoop, whoop. Yes, I, um, I, I, I love it. It's hard to say it. I always feel like, oh, is it like blowing my own trumpet? But I do, I love it. And I think you guys are going to have so much fun. It just makes it so much easier, especially because if you wanted to do that, in, in any other way sure you could maybe ma like stamp it mask the um, the hands and then stamp over the top that's definitely something that you could do but um, this just makes it so much easier and really really quick as well and even with with Piper little one you know it's something that she can do really easily as well so I'm lining I'm using my misty to line that up and I will line this up here and because this time I cut my card base first it's beautiful here because this time I did not cut my card base first and then I had to try and line it up 
I do have a little bit showing through, but that's fine. I can just cut out another frame and stick it on the inside, so it's not a big deal. Well, we get it right the first time round. All good in the head. Put these in here. Great tip with the tape. The problem is, my problem with the tape is that it always sticks to itself. Well, maybe it's just a good tape then. <laughs> okay, so I've got a little love heart for this guy and um, I'm actually gonna cut it out. I'm sure I cut it out of a different type of card. But I don't know what kind. Oh, here it is, it's right in front of me. I cut it out of this. And I'm going to do the same. Another sassafras lass. Um, I must have put my dies away. Hi, Sakaliana. I'm good. A little freezing in the winter. We're, we're all complaining that it's so warm. <laughs> Elizabeth Lucy's on the other side of the world. Not to me anyway. In Brisbane. Freezing a little tushy off. You poor pickle. Right. I'm going to grab a couple of glue dots for this. isn't heated so the mornings are chilly <laughs> we have the opposite problem we're complaining that it's too hot and, and that we don't have any air con it's just life I suppose okay so I have tucked that in there for my cute little bear he just looks so happy doesn't he but then again, I'd be a happy bear if I was surrounded by dripping honey. Mm -hmm. Put a couple of glue dots on the back. And if you don't want the, um, if you don't want, actually let's do that. If you don't want like the Copic marker background showing through, Cut out another, another um, shape using the die. If you can find your paper. Hi, Shauna. I'm just going to uh, cut out another one and put it on the back so that whenever you, because you can see through the shaper on both sides, it just makes it a little bit nice and neat. So yeah, you will still see the, that the arms are cut out, but hey, I don't think that matters. There we go. Put my head in the way there. Um, I hope it warms up soon. If I may ask, where do you live? That it's winter. She's in Brisbane. Oh. I love making shaker cards, but I find it hard to stop the sequin sticking to the side because of the foam tape. Would anyone have some tips? Maybe I should start making shakers using foam. Yeah, if you have that problem, then this is a, a better method. The, the fuse tool is really good because there's no foam at all but obviously that's an expense so I like to show ways to make it work without having to spend the big bucks Um, yes a powder tool is one of the tips that I would have so let's 
see. Boop, boop, boop. So if you had a frame, let's say this was the, the frame made out of foam, in here is going to get be like really sticky and probably the outside as well. So there's a couple of things. This is a powder tool by EK Success and you, you get powder, you put it in there and it has a little brush and you can brush it around the outside. This is a different kind of embossing anti-static bag and um, it looks like a dish cloth or something but inside is a bunch of powder and if I pop it down you'll see that the powder comes out. Now please don't spend your hard end craft pennies on tools that you don't need unless you think that they're going to be useful. Just get some baby powder or get some um, get like um, what's it called like by, um, baking powder something like that and tap it onto here pick it up with a brush and brush it in. Go to the pound store and sometimes they actually have like blusher brushes or um, um, what was, what's it called? Blusher brushes or like a, like a foundation brush thing that you can buy in like a pound store that you could fill up and do the same job. Um, or just get a makeup brush and use the soft bristles of a makeup brush to push it around. So there's a couple of tips for you. Hi Pam, hi Lizzie, my first time on live, whoops, uh, <laughs> usually watch on YouTube. Oh, thank you for joining me, amazing. We were just talking about a little um, couple of tips, we're nearly done actually in regards to making the card. I think because I'm doing my prep, I'm getting much faster, don't you think? So I'm just about ready to stick on my little cute little bear because I'm making this card. We have already made a... We've embossed the background. Let me see if I can get the background to show up. It's a bit hard. And I've used um, a Honeybee Stamps die for that, which has these cute little embossing dots on it. Uh, Kelly at Lawn Fawn adds glitter um, to help and another video. Yeah, that's a really good idea. You know, add, add some glitter in there. Do you know what? I actually really enjoy it sometimes when they get stuck. Obviously, it's annoying if all of them get stuck. But I tend to be quite generous with my shaker elements. Um, dust the sequins, with, the sequins with powder too. Yeah, you can always add some powder on top of the sequins. Dale's here. Hey, Dale. Love this card so fun. Yay. Right, let's stick this guy on. Stick this on here. Oh, no, have I lost my honey pot? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Sometimes I'm such a pickle. Sean is on the Gold Coast. Thanks so much, everyone. I'll have to invest in the EK tool because it makes so many shakers and it's frustrating. <laughs> Bless you. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to add a bit of foam to that, actually. Um, I've said this before. And the powder in here smells. It, it doesn't smell like rotten <laughs> but it's a really strong florally smell and I am not a fan but I'm one of these people that you know if if someone has like a car air freshener mm -mm -mm -mm, not for me anything that's like really strong and overpowering not for me so I actually use this little beauty that has been in my craft arsenal since 2002 I think I, I would more often reach for that than this in saying that I could open it and fill it with other powder so I'm just being lazy right guys so we are nearly there I'm going to do now the the drippy drippy drip drips and leave that to dry while I do the bit in the inside it smells like baby powder or those old vintage perfume powders. So I don't think it smells like baby powder. Well, maybe it maybe it smells like cheap baby powder. I don't know. We have a Johnson's and Johnson's baby powder. And I really, well, I like the smell of it and the extent of it's more tolerable than that one. 
Okay, no, I'm not throwing it on. Gonna grab my beautiful watercolors. I love these. It is my Kuritake Ganzai Tambi watercolors. And I had to go for the big one because I'm a greedy crafter. And um, if you don't have, so you can buy, you can buy cheap watercolors. I was going to show you my cheap watercolors, but I've given them the piper. I've got a couple of other ones that are not, um, they're not expensive. You can normally just pick them up anyway. Um, anyway, quite cheaply. But if you don't have watercolors, you can just draw on the drips with like a Copic marker or even just a marker pen, but I'm gonna use the paint. So this is the bit that may, yes, Stampira, full set syndrome. Mm -hmm, that is me. Um, so this is the bit which if, <laughs> I suspect will scare the pants out of some of you guys. But I'm a rebel, so that's fine. <laughs> Because what we're going to do is we've pretty much got a finished card here and now we're going to add some unpredictability. There's a little mark here which I think came from my adhesives. I'm going to grab my um, a rubber, my eraser. This is a sand eraser, mono sand eraser from Tombow. It's a great little tool. If you drop your ink pad, get a fingerprint somewhere, or have a little sticky bit. So ask Santa for, for one, that's where mine came from. <laughs> I act like I know what I'm talking about, but I'm just repeating what I watched on videos. I repeat what I see you do too, Liz. <laughs> well, that's how we spread the love. I have no problem with that. <laughs> Let's put a little puddle of water into my watercolours. Don't be scared. All right, so I'm actually only going to grab another pot of water. So this is probably not as important today because all I'm doing is drips and all I'm doing is using yellowy orangey tones. But when I am using watercolour, I always have two pots. Okay. Oh no! Oh, Cynthia is going out because she's going to Joanne's. Mm, I'm jealous. Take a picture in Joanne's and tag us on Instagram or something so I can be jealous and see what you're buying. <laughs> so I've got two pots. One is for washing my brush and the other is for picking up clean water. So whenever I am um, activating my watercolors I use clean water and put it in there and let it do a little puddly puddly I want to get up get quite a lot of, of ink I was going to say and paint onto my brush and I'm going to dab it along here and pick up some more watercolor and dab it along. So what I want is actually like almost like a pool of water, like a puddle. And sometimes if you kind of squeeze and twist your brush, it becomes a pool. So if I move it around, can you see there's like a little puddle? Pick up some more and add it in. Okay. I want that little droplet to be heavy enough that it's going to um, trickle down the card. But I'm not gonna worry about that just now, I'm just getting the, the little bubble started. And then I'll do a couple more little bubbles. So I leave a little gap. And push this along. We want it to run. And don't, worry if it looks a mess it's supposed to because this 
cheeky little bear has um, got into the honey pot. Cheeky little sausage. Okay, so I have the start of a good few puddles. I'm going to just pick up some water and add it in. Sometimes it's hard because your paintbrush actually wants to, whenever you put it onto those puddles, your paintbrush actually wants to um, like suck up uh, the paint that's there. So the trick is that your paintbrush has got more paint in it. Here it starts. Can you see? Can you see? Oh yeah. some of that paint and those little puddles to be super full and if you tilt your card and give it a little tap it will encourage your drips even more to drop down the challenge is then whenever you're like oh I don't want that first one to drip anymore but I want this one to drip a little more that's cool. Are we happy? So if you like those drippies, I'm going to just stand this up a little bit and then see if I can get the drippies to dry. And to be perfectly honest, I doubt this will dry before the end of tonight's crafting session but maybe we can hit it with a heat tool or something while I do the other bits and pieces. <laughs> There's no flipper. That looks like fun, Leslie, love it. Woo, it is fun. Um, Shoni says, I got Nina paper to try from Craft Online. Is that a shop? Is that a store? And some other papers to try. I think Craft X or something like that. I lost the cover sheet. <laughs> what do you like better? Wink of Stella, um, Wink of Stella or Sakura Glitter? Right, so I have the Wink of Stella and I have the Spectrum Noir and I much prefer the Wink of Stella. I don't know what the Sakura Glitter one is. The Wink of Stella is Kurataki, the same company that makes these. Pam says, there's no flipping way I can do this. Hot hotel ice cream. <laughs> I have something I want to try with with it. Awesome. Oh, honey drip, not hotel drip. That's so funny. <laughs> so I need one like this. If you actually look through my blog, you might see it. So there was one which has a little um, cloud. There was a there was a white cloud, and then dripping from the cloud was like rainbow colors of watercolor. But the trick was, you have to do one, dry it. Do the next one, dry it. Because if you if you drip a yellow and then you drip a blue, whenever it touches, it just, they, they know the yellow's gone down here and the blue's gone down here and everything's lovely and then they touch and then boom, they both become green. So you have to, um, you have to do it and dry it. Oh, put that back in there. That's the two glitter ones I meant, Leslie. Thank you. Cool. So the reason that I really like the Wink of Stella, which is where? This is the Wink of Stella, um, which I really like. Um, and then I also have this one, which is the Spectrum Noir. And let's have a little look. So Spectrum Noir looks like it's got a bigger reservoir and it looks like it has a longer brush tip on it. Um, I think they're probably on a par in regards to the glitter that they leave. But I had done a 
Um, where is it? Let me see. I had used the no line watercolor technique to color in some images using the Gerda Steiner Hoppy Easter. I think it's Hoppy Easter stamp set. And th I actually did one like this and I did little Easter eggs that went around them. I colored them all in with my watercolor. I actually, I think I used distress inks, the no line, the watercolor technique with the distress inks. And I colored it all in like this and it had little details on it and it looked beautiful. And then my wink Stella had started to run out. So I thought, that's okay, I'll use this, which was new. And when I went over the top, um, it, like everything bled, all my details got lost. And um, I think maybe this one is a water-based one. So it reactivated with all the water. I don't know whether this is water-based or not. But I do know that I never had that problem with my Winkastella. I could put my Winkastella on anything and never lost any of the detail. So that's my input, whether it is the, uh, whether that's the norm or not, I don't know. Right, I'm going to do a little message on the inside and I think it would be fun to pull out that stuff that says sweet and uh, where's this one so this one says you're sweet so I'm going to see about um, I'm going to have a little look actually at what other stamps is here so that I can maybe give you some more sneaky peeky peeky peeks. What did I do? Did I put it on? Yeah, I put it on this. Do the same thing. Okay. So the word sweet is not actually in the bear stamp set but that's okay because like I said you get to mix and match so this is not from the the one with the bear but this one is I'm not sure if you can see what it says probably not it says life is I'm going to write life is sweet. Life is sweet. And I'm going to use my distress oxides, which I finally this week, by the way, I got out my glue gun and I glued a little bit of Velcro on the bottom so I can put my blending pad here. And I, I haven't quite labeled them yet. I'll have to do that, but I cleared out some more ink on my shelf so that I could fit these guys in. So that's exciting. But I do need to label them because now I can't find now I can't find which one's which. Sorry I was late. Is the bear holding some the bear is holding a love heart. So he is. Let's ink this up. The Wink Estella is good and it makes it all pretty. Oh, here we go. Rose, Rose Colored Grasses says, Oh, you didn't tell me your name. I thought it was Tiffany. No, it's Tammy. Is it Tammy? I thought that the Spectrum Noir looked more glittery. I don't know. We'll give it a go in a second. Although it's probably not a... Um, it's probably not a... Fair test because my spectrum, my, what's it called, Wink of Stella is way older and has had way more abuse. But I, whenever I was running out, like I, I really need a new Wink of Stella, but when it was running out, somebody said that you can just unscrew it and put some like water in it or some alcohol solution in it. So I, I don't, I think I put like a drop of water maybe. 
but I certainly didn't put a um, any alcohol stuff in it. Ha ha! Tell me, I thought it was. Stacy says my hobby just got home and made fun of me because I have an alarm set in your live stream. I love you for that. You're the best. There's absolutely nothing to laugh about. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty. I'm sure there's plenty of people that have alarms for other things. I'm pretty sure my husband has alarms for um um what do you call it? Formula One races and things like that. And this is way more exciting because you guys get to interact with me. Um, Noir has clear glitter and the Wink of Stella, ha Stella has golden, golden glitter. Well, I guess maybe it's not, it's like a white gold, which is such a silly thing to say. It doesn't feel, it's like a champagne gold, maybe. Is that a thing? Hmm. <laughs> I totally have alarm set at 6 a.m. here. <laughs> I used to do the same with, um, I'm going to grab a die. Hold on a second. Okay, disclaimer, this is not heavy to buy, but I'm just using it anyway. Um, I have, I, I remember many, many years ago when Noah, if you're into scrapbooking, you might know who Noelle is. If you don't, then you might not know who she is. So there's a scrapbooker called Noelle Hyman, and she was from paperclipping.com. And she did live crafting streams, live scrapbooking. And she's in Arizona, so I don't remember. I don't remember when it was for her, but for me it was like one o'clock in the morning. And and I used to set alarms for that. And moreover, I used to watch it. And I remember we were at uni. And the um the place that we were living in it was a rented accommodation and um, it was a flat and the people who lived above us were really really loud and the woman in the house or in the flat above us she would watch tv in bed but she would she would watch it until she fell asleep i i guess that's what she did because she would She'd be, um, it'd be all kind of quiet, just the normal stomping of footprints and things, and then footsteps, and and then she was like she was going to bed, and then the TV would start blaring. So we had moved our bed into the living room, and Craig would sit play the Xbox or something, and I would sit and watch Noel craft. <laughs> So this die, and I don't know what it's called, I'm afraid, or who makes it. It's just like a little banner die that I picked up somewhere along the way. But it cuts out the frame as well, which is quite fun. But instead of cutting it out of some brown cardstock, I'm just inking it up, being lazy. Stacey says, I prefer Wink of Stella. I'm going to get some cardstock and test it out for you guys. Okay. A little bit of teal coloured card. Hopefully you guys can see it. Wink of Stella. The other thing is, it may be because this is a new brush pen, is that um, the bristles seem a bit stiffer. Let me give it a squeeze. I'm not sure if you can even see the difference. 
so Spectrum Noir kind of looks like it's drying quicker. But this one looks like it's more glistening. I mean, they both give really good shine. This one looks like it's more shiny, but it could it could depend because the thing is with this one, for example, there's quite a lot of glitter stuck around the, the, the cap. What you do is you just open that up and put some in there. Although I think this one came in a two pack, so it's probably cheaper. But yeah, I think that Spectrum, um, Wink of Stella is my favorite. And if I was buying another one, I would buy Wink of Stella. Might be my favorite things. Yeah, it might be my favorite things, I'm not sure. Life is sweet. I need to just stick this onto here. Leslie, what inks do you suggest to get? Ooh. So I have distress inks. Got them all. Need them all. That's me. Need them all. I love the versatility of distress inks. However, they don't stamp. They don't stamp so good. Distress oxides. They stamp lovely. There's only 12 colours so far. They stamp lovely and the the um in the stamps clean really nice. So that's a bonus for sure. For um like a black ink, I do love my memento tuxedo black. I'm a big fan of it. Um, there's other other brands, but this is the one I like. I have got a selection of Simon Says Stamp dye inks, and I like them, but some of them stain really a lot. But that's fine because a stained stamp doesn't mean a broken stamp at all. Um, let me grab some. So like this. Now I also bought, they have a, like a set of mini cubes. And I love the range that you can get out of these. I really, really love it. So I, I would recommend these, but I'd recommend these more if you have a Misty or some like stamping tool, because these ones, because of the type and the formulation of it, when you stamp it, it can look splotchy, but it will dry into your um, it will dry into your paper and become a bit more even. But sometimes it's better to have like two two layers of it, especially if it's a solid image. If it's like a word, then they work perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Um, there are so many inks out there these days. Dye inks will, um, a lot of them, a lot of the brands like Simon System, Alta New, Lawn Fawn, a lot of them, they're, they're probably made by the same company, to be honest, like the same actual factory. And they're all gonna be great. And um, just bear in mind that the dye inks, like I say, it'll, it will dye your stamp pad or your ink stamps, because guess what, they're dye. <laughs> um, but, that's not a problem and they will be a bit splotchier they're no good for embossing if you want to emboss you need something that's going to stay wet a bit longer like a pigment ink and pigment inks if you're going to do like a solid image and you want to just do like one one stamp and you're done they're really good because with a pigment ink the ink actually sits on top of the stamp and it sits really nice and you can see where it's going to stamp and when you do that it lays on top of the paper so um, so there's lots of different types I I like what I've got and I also don't spend like I could I went through a phase saying I need the lawn fun inks I need them 
but to buy to buy all the mini cube sets was like 50 quid or something but a lot of the colors are quite similar so I don't know I haven't done that yet I haven't splashed um do, 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 do. oh Elizabeth is talking about Australian shops how easy is it to order Simon Says Stamp from the UK do you have to pay customs I have ordered Simon Says Stamp from the UK before I haven't done it in a while and when I did it I did not have to do customs um, I do know someone in France that did it and they did have to pay customs. I did however get a order from Longfawn and I did have to pay customs for it, 60 quid customs which was just sucky. Um, money exchange rate is a bit blah. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth, I visited over Christmas this year and I was surprised how expensive it was. Oh, that sucks. Right, guys, I am going to stick this on the inside of my card. I could go there, but I think I'll stick it on the inside of my card and I'll probably hang it over the side or something like, like I've done here. And what I'll do when this is dry is take my glossy accents and go all the way over each of my drips and set it aside for a good few hours to dry. And then you get this beautiful glossiness. If you don't have glossy accents or any dimensional um, dimensional type glue or product, then you could take either a white coloring pencil or a white gel pen and draw like little lines down the side to give the illusion of these like shine marks. And that's a popular thing to do, especially if you have a white gel pen. Now, if I go in and I try and um, tap up some of the um, watercolor, it's either going to, my brush is going to like sloop, slurp up all the watercolor and then it won't have that nice kind of um, splotch at the bottom that little drip and if I use my heat gun that puddle is gonna go like this so right now the best thing for me to do if I want to achieve the same kind of results as here where I have a nice round like proper drippy going on here is to leave this and let it dry and then come back in with my glossy accents when it is dry in the morning. What I can do though is I can put my glossy accents on my honey pot. As long as I don't put my finger in it again. And then my dears, I think it's time to wrap up and say good night. There we go. I love my glossy accents. So this is a relatively new bottle. And to stop it from clogging, here's what I do. Tap it down, squeeze out the air. And also what I do, which I'm not going to, um, like I didn't tell you this because it's probably um, really bad, <laughs> but I blow in it. So I, I blow down into it Put like my lips around here so I'm not going to put my lips on the glue but I blow into it so if there's any little bit in the nozzle it gets pushed down or you can just push it out so hear it now it doesn't go like because there's no actual glue in the nozzle and that is that so I have to leave that to dry Elizabeth says it's a quick one. I'm getting speedy. I know I I think I'm getting speedy as well. I think it's because I um I prepared a bit more <laughs> and I had an idea of what I was going to make. Because when I started doing these live sessions, I I really didn't have much of a clue. Also, I think it takes a while to get used to um having like the comments up here and 
Yeah, doing two things at once. <laughs> Tally says, gotta go to sleep. Thanks for the crafty tips, Lizzie. I hope to see you next week. Yes, I hope to see you next week with um, my anniversary night. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Poor Craig, always playing second fiddle to my crafting obsession. Oh well, that's why he loves me. <laughs> Stampira says that's actually a really good idea. Yeah, it's fun. Jennifer McGuire puts a pin in the top, but she uses a fine tip on it. Yeah, I had um, I had one. Where is it? So I had this, and it actually has a. Oh, can't even open it. It's got a fine tip applicator. And it has a little, can you see? I get a little piece of wire, like a tip there. But that only goes down to, let's see, it only goes down to like here. So I think this was getting clogged down at the bottom. Probably that and the fact that this, like, this is much younger than this and I think as the older it gets it gets a bit like heavier and denser as this is just so runny plus it's been so warm that's probably helped things as well <laughs> so guys I'm gonna wrap this up and say thank you very much to all of you guys who have joined me tonight I am um, hope that you will keep an eye out for all of our heffy doodle posts on the weeks to come like i say next week we have got the reveals happening those will be on hungry heffy crafts which is my blog and um i don't know i might do some like a youtube live or, or a facebook live. I, i'm not sure yet i haven't actually planned that far ahead yet it depends how much time i have uh, but keep an eye out and be sure to go on over and see the full review next week of course I will be showing each of you the stamp sets that have been revealed so you'll get a different you'll get a more satisfying look next week please also if you haven't already go to heffydoodle.com put in your name and your email address so that we can update you whenever we go live um, I hope that we can align your support to help spread the word and um, hopefully make this Kickstarter a success thank you so much everyone for joining me and for all the chatter you're all amazing I love you all and if you do if you did make a card or anything inspired by today's card I would love to see it absolutely love to see it please send it over Thanks very much, everyone. Night, night. I'm off to bed now. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Tommy, I'm sorry that your um, knee replacement surgery, you're still laid up. Hopefully, maybe you can um, still do a little bit of stamping. <laughs> I wish you a speedy recovery, my dear. Bye, everyone. I'm trying not to put my hand in this drippy paint. <laughs>